welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, it is time for First Cutting Hay. I am out in the field with the Dairy Brothers, and these guys have a YouTube channel that's fairly new, so let's give them an introduction, and uh, they're gonna tell us where to find them on YouTube. You can find us on the YouTube channel at Dairy Bros. Uh, we're three brothers. We started YouTube channel about one year ago. We just show like what we do on daily life on a farm, on our farm. All right, good deal, and that's your YouTube name, Dairy Brothers. All right, you guys know where to find them. Check them out. I'll put the link to one of their videos or their channel down below this one. Thanks. This is a family dairy farm, not too terribly far from my house. I got to know these guys years ago. They used to run some Gale pull-type forage harvesters back in the day when I worked for Gale. Anyways, of course, Gale doesn't make that stuff anymore, but they are now running a different type that you're going to see here later on in the video. And also, if you're a Massey Ferguson tractor fan, this video is definitely for you. So to start out here, they are making first cutting hay that they will cut, rake, chop, and put in the silo for their dairy herd. So to start off here in the field mowing the hay is their Massey Ferguson 8660 tractor pulling the Massey Ferguson Heston model 1372 swing frame disc mower conditioner. They're going to mow the hay down. They'll let the hay dry for a little bit. They're mowing this in the morning now. They'll probably rake and chop it in the afternoon, depending on the weather or the next day. I got some great shots of them mowing here in this field. We'll show that, and then later on in the video, we're going to move up to their Massey Ferguson 5475 tractor that is pulling a Coon GA Model 7932 rotary rake that's going to rake two windrows into one. Then the rake windrows will be picked up there using their Massey Ferguson 8732 tractor pulling a Dione Model 2430 pull type forage harvester with the hay head on it. Behind the chopper, the forage harvester, they are pulling HS HD twin auger forage boxes. When the wagons or the forage boxes are full, they are using their Massey Ferguson model 6616 tractor to pull the wagons from the field back to the farm to the silo. When they get to the farm, they are unhooking the wagons. You'll see an older Massey Ferguson 285 tractor that will take the wagon around to the silo. And at the silo, they are using a Massey Ferguson 7495 tractor hooked to a Dione 860 silage blower. Lots of Massey Ferguson tractors in this video. I think I even seen another bigger Massey Ferguson tractor sitting in the barn hooked to the planter. Like I said, if you're a Massey Ferguson fan, this video is for you. Now up is their Massey Ferguson 5475 two-wheel drive tractor pulling the Coon GA7932 rotary rake. So what they're doing is after they mow the hay, they let it set here dry a little bit, and then they come through and they'll rake these windrows together for the forage harvester. Now they were not getting too far ahead. There was pop-up showers coming in the area while I was here, so they just would uh, go a load or two ahead of the chopper and then set and wait and see what happens with the weather.
Now up is their Massey Ferguson 8732 tracker pulling the Dion 2430 pull type 4 inch harvester and the H&S wagons. Behind the first wagon again is their Massey Ferguson model 6616 tracker pulling that wagons from the farm back to the field and so on but they got these hitch systems here so nobody has to get out of the tractor to hook and unhook wagons. I will have a close-up shot of that coming up from the ground but here's a look with the drone.
now back at the silo, you see their Massey Ferguson 7495 tractor hooked to the Dion 860 4 inch blower. Their older Massey Ferguson 285 moving the wagons around as they're hauled back from the field. They unhook them in the driveway and hook them back up to this 285, bring them around to the blower and unload them and fill the silo. It was just a bit on the windy side today, and when I got around these silos with my drone, there was a lot of wind, so you're going to see my camera bouncing around. The drone actually usually does pretty good with the gimbal on it and so forth in the wind, but it was really shaking. I was probably kind of in a dangerous spot here, but hey, we got to bring this good footage to YouTube, and you got to take some chances while you're doing it. This farm also milks with robotic milkers, so if you go to their YouTube channel, Dairy Bros, they actually have a pretty good video showing the robotic milker in action and explaining everything that's going on. Check it out.
that's going to wrap up this video. Big thanks to the Dairy Bros for having me out here to make this video. Definitely check them out, and I'll put the link right here so you can find their YouTube channel. Anyways, feel free to hit that like button, comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, what I'm filming, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.